Standard reunification method is a method that our district learned from I Love You Guys. So the I Love You Guys Foundation, they have methods for schools to implement to reunify students with parents. Um, I don't know if you've heard yet, but there's been an incident at the high school um, that's gonna require us to put together our reunification today. We need the district to set up a reunification site and prepare to receive parents and students as they are transported from the high school. So we have two reunification sites for a major event. The reason for that is if one may not be available, the other one will be. Or if one's a larger event, we may have to go to our larger site. If it's a smaller event, we can use our smaller site. The first thing we want to do when we get there is um, set up tables and we're going to take our rock box boxes, which are our reunification operation kits, and we're going to empty those out onto two long tables because those have all of our supplies. For, for us, ROK is reunification operations kit, but it's everything from blankets to Kleenexes to clipboards to pens to papers to, um, you know, signage. It's everything you might possibly think you may need for a whole day of reunification. Um, so we do that and I want to do a radio check. So make sure you all have your radios, have your earpieces, and when we get there, we'll put our earpieces in. We'll do a radio check. We're going to live on security channel 10 today. And then we set up our stations. So we set up a, a greeter station to greet parents when they come in, a checker station to check parents' IDs, IT station to make sure the parent is the right parent to pick up the child, and then the reunification station, which is where we actually reunify the student with the parent. So managing the front door before you open the doors to let parents in is probably the weakest point and the hardest point to manage. Because not only do you have all these parents in one area, you have a lot of parents that are emotional, anxious, just wanting, they want one thing, they want their kid. We gotta get out of here. I've got an appointment in Pueblo in 30 minutes. I've got to get him. Where is he? Bring him to me now. Can we just go straight to our kids and fill no, them um, out? Are you here for your child? I am okay. trying to be, but. They're, they're getting them. They're getting them. I'm trying to be patient, but it's, I've been here I for two hours. Them. I know. I understand. And, and so, what we've learned how to manage that better is you, you can't have too much help up front. You need security, you need law enforcement, you need mental health experts. So, get that yellow card, that reunification card, get that in their hands while they're still outside. So they feel like progress is being made. And the other piece of that, that, that external management is having perimeter control around the entire property so that they're not trying to find those, those little cracks and crevices they can get through. <laughs> Ma'am, you need to come to the front. Ma'am, you need to go to the front door. No, my daughter's right there. You need to go to the front door. You're not helping the situation by doing this. It's our job to make sure we match the right student with the right parent. And so it's very important to have a process for that. And that's where that standard reunification method comes in. It's a very well thought out, proven process that follows the steps that allows us to make sure that student and that the correct parent is reunified in a safe manner. The leads on the teams are, are our district directors. We're a smaller, medium-sized district. So each director, um, whether it's HR director, IT director, um, curriculum and assessment director, they're the leads of these different teams. And so the greeters team, again, is, is led um, by a director who is trained along with several other staff members to greet the parents as they come in. Um, then once they greet them, have them fill out cards, then they go on to the checker station, which is where we check the ID, a photo ID of the parent, and ensure that that parent is who they say they are. But then they go on to our IT station where we actually have a computer database that is not linked to the internet, and they can look up the child in our student database to make sure, again, are, is this parent allowed to pick up this student? So we do those three checkpoints before they ever get to that reunification station. Once they're to that station, then we have a system where we connect the proper student with the proper adult. Um, in the case of an event, in a real event, parents would be notified from our admin base team through our school messenger system. I already have those crafted in my reunification, what I call my reunification blue book. We get first responders, victim advocates, and mental health professionals involved really from the beginning. When we developed our district team, we started reaching out to those organizations. And it's just grown and grown from there. They are now actually reaching out to us to participate. It's extremely important to have uniformed law enforcement, 
even fire department, it could be Department of Wildlife. It's something about that uniform that can really bring, drive home that message of authority. So any partnerships that you can culminate with your organizations, I encourage folks to do so. I do have a security assigned to each station, or at least between each station, so we can manage any parents that might um, need some extra attention. Go ahead and please have a seat right here. If you'll wait with her, we'll Absolutely. Get her Yep. I've to told 10 people that they're my kids. Yes, they're okay, my kids. Gonna, he doesn't know you've talked okay, okay, well. You can stand here or you can, or you can have a seat. Yep, I got medication that so. he needs to take pretty pretty quick here. So can I just go straight back there to him um, and we can just get that to him? We're going to get him out here real quick. You're going to be able to get that medicine to All him right. very, very quick. All right. Hi, I'm Aubrey Dell. Hi, Aubrey. How are you doing? Your mom? Oh, you're okay, you're okay. So probably the biggest thing I learned today came from the parents and, and the different things that they're going to try to get to their kids so quickly and how we can close those gaps so they can't get there but yet make them feel like they're getting closer and closer to their child. Your daughter's here. Um, she's speaking with a um, police officer right now. Um, she is okay and she's in the back room. Um, but we're going to have you go back up to the staging area and then we're going to have you come back through while she's done giving, giving her state. Okay. Good. So, so for a smaller district who's a little, little intimidated by the process of standard reunification, so first of all, assemble a team. Assemble a small core team to help with the planning. That's what we've done here. We have a core team of about 12 folks. We come together, do the planning initially, and then you start communicating out that plan. And you just then have to do it. It's not gonna be comfortable. It's gonna feel like you don't have a plan, but you do have one. And so to exercise it and to drill it is, is vital. If you don't do that, then you're not gonna be successful. And I'll go back to the first time that we actually, it was about four years ago, we chose to start running through the method. We have it in the book, but we never physically ran through the method. We ran through that. I got feedback for weeks for our staff saying, I feel so much more comfortable. I'm not anxious. You heard the lady today say, I now know what to expect. So you need to do it for the members of your team and the members of your school district.